All right, for real now. So noise gates are still on. I wish we could have a shortcut. You know what I mean? I mean, we basically do. Kind of. We do that. All right, cut. now there's no noise gate. Hopefully it's not picking up the people racing motorcycles. Welcome back. We're the Burn Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. He's trying to listen to see if the soundboard's picking up noise. So. Tonight. Today. Tomorrow. This no, fine today. year. Oh, kind of. Not really, huh? Um, little, little Finnish whiskey board action. Listen. It's the year of the finished whiskeys. And it? it feels like it. Okay. We got a four-gate batch shicked. I added a T to that word. We got a Bardstown. This is not the Pfeiffer. This is the Chateau Le Ball. The Scooby Doo nickname, yep. Scooby Doo, Chateau yep. Scooby Doo. Um, this is a MGP. Yeah, I don't know the actual source of this one. It doesn't say. Anything. Angel's cast strength, obviously, Just always involved. And then we got Joseph Magnus cigar blend, also MGP, but triple, triple cast, cast finish. finish. Yep. So we're going to whiskey war, blind these bad man pajamas next to each other, and let's see what our favorite finished whiskey is right now. Bam! Intro rolled. the analogy or the saying like the cream rises to the top is that what yeah. it is is that it yeah is that the curd rises to the top nope okay nope you were right and then I said it didn't yes. feel right yep it doesn't feel right the cream like the cream rises, of the crop the, that the cream of the crop rises to the top why does nobody say the whole thing that's not nah, that it works. makes way more sense when you say the cream of the crop and it rhymes hey what's your rules left to right right to left let's go Oh, forgot how much I'm going to be enjoying this whiskey war until that exact moment in which the heaven scent hit my nose. Little buttered popcorn. I just, dude. No. I just, I, I don't care what you say next. I'll just blatantly agree because I'm happy now. Okay. I'm just happy. I'm glad you're in a good mood now. But. I might just chug these. Okay, we can't do that. Just you, chug you all four. Do it at the end. Any notes, Dan? Beauty. Uh, a feather off an angel's wing. Specifically, grapeseed oil. Okay. Nope. You know what? I was wrong. I said I'd blindly agree. I completely disagree now. Oh! Okay. Is that a mouse? I hope it is the angel of death coming for you. We call him the Reaper of Grim. I need mm. blackberries with sugar on them. Um. Um. A man. beautiful oil slick. I went in... For a, a, a drink, and then all of a sudden, like a note, like I kind of got like uh, cinnamon dusted. Oh, you mean like the powder? Like, no. That you said wasn't real the one oh time. Oh my god. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, I do get the cinnamon on the old palate, though. I got a lot of alcohol. I'm going to have to try it again. It was a nice hug. Oh. I thought to myself, we should have some whiskey before this. And then we, we just ripped didn't. It. Yep. And now I regret it. Yep, I get more like butter popcorn. It's so good. It's, oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay. It's perfect, man. It is perfect. The finish is nice. There's a definite influence from whatever the finish is. There's a berry influence. There's like a cinnamon coated peanut. Are we drinking completely different things? You drink an A? Prop, I think. You don't get any nuttiness in there. Nope. If I decide to agree with the cinnamon later in life, I get no nuttiness. Okay. I'm on the edge. I'm on, I'm leaning towards a cinnamon being a real thing. <laughs> I'm off a cliff of how far away peanuts are. You should try to taste your whiskey. Let's just go to B. I can't do this anymore with you. I drank too much A. I just found out. Oh, holy okay. shit. B. Oh. Ooh. That's wild. Oh, that's got an oaky casky finish on it. Oh, yes. That smells fantastic. I'm so excited to do this whiskey where we have, we've talked about this whiskey I literally for, just looked at the camera for like 10 seconds and you're like, oaky, casky, finish. Yeah, that's a word. Both of those are words. Feels correct. None of these are young whiskey. Not. They all have, I bet, a pretty decent finishing on them. Like age time? Yeah. So. Probably. Here's, it's, I think our They last all smell one. like finished whiskey. Weird. I think our last whiskey where we did this, where we actually got to drink stuff we really liked. We're um, just happy. We've been talking time. about this finished whiskey work for like a month now. At least. Yeah, probably at least. And now that we're here, 
When you get a good finished whiskey, you start to understand why they cost more money. Plums. Um, I was going to say, like, Gabby makes these, like, date bars. Yes. I've had them. Yeah. You're right. The, on the nose, I would agree. Try it. It's um, it's like a plum cobbler. It's It's got, like, the... And I think that's probably really close to what you're referencing, but it's got, like, that crumble on top. Dates, I think, are sweeter than plums. Like, dates are just, like, Um, hard. I don't think I've smelled It's just dates. sugar. Dates? Yeah. I haven't very smelt sugary. them enough. Like, I've smelt... I know what plums smell like. Okay. I don't think I... I know what dates taste like, and I like... I think... Yeah, I think this is darker than... Well, plums are pretty dark, but I think this is sweeter than plums in my mind. Plums are kind of bland. This nope. is delicious. Perfectly plum. Okay, you know what? Let me rephrase it. It's... And I don't actually disagree with the date bar mm -hmm. analogy, but... It's like, um, you know, it's like a dried sugar plum. It's sweeter than a plum. It's not real juicy like that. Like a date, which would just be sweeter. Is that basically a, a dried sugar plum? Yeah, pretty much. This is a sugar plum right here, dude. Okay. Hear me out. See. All right. There's a little twang of some mustiness on C. The problem seemingly happened again. In which I drank a shit ton of beer. Yeah, I know. That's why I just tried to wrangle you into moving on. I'm going to be honest. This might be impossible. No. I don't even have a... I don't have a favorite yet. No, I just got a whiff in one nostril as I went to look at you. The, the It went right into this nose, and I stopped talking because I couldn't physically muster a word. It's a little musty, isn't it? It's way brighter red fruit, though. Okay. Whereas B was ultra dark fruit. You're talking hard cherry, basically, Dude, on this. This smells like the color red looks. Do you agree? Do you know what I'm saying? Are you smelling some pre burnt toast this right now? This smells like a pink and red straw starburst mixed together. How that tastes. Oh my gosh. I'm my notes, I'm gonna be honest today. Point. On the point. It smells like a a ripe, rich blueberry. It's almost like a cherry liqueur on it. It's just got that like um, that richness in there. It's fantastic. Honestly, it's great. It smells great. Now, I did take a sip, and that sip was a lower proof seemingly than the oh. other two. Like what it is drinks that? cooler or softer. There's something funky in the the palate. You know too. what I think it is? I think whatever the finish is, I think it's I think that's the finish. Like it's the barrel of the finish. Um, all right. Cause that mustiness I'm equating to another barrel. Right? Like, um, Revival I, from I, Wild Turkey has that same thing. Like a cognac finish? It's like a, a hard cask note. D. Four. There's Delicious. no dickle in this Delightful. Light. It smells the lightest of the bunch. Yeah. But you get that, like, richness that you can definitely tell there's a cask finish on her. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. Where C punches you in, fa in the face with that note, D is so much lighter. C does. Yeah, see, so if you smell C and didn't know you were drinking finished whiskey, you'd be like, what in the hell just happened? This feels a little bit more citrusy. I'm getting orange. Okay. Orange? Yeah. Specifically, blood orange. Center cut, specifically. Uh, actually, the you know, if you hold it up, it's always the third quadrant. Oh, uh, I'm going to not agree with blood orange. You know what? I'm going to agree with an orange zest. I get a zest note. Okay. Specifically... Only zest. It's a blueberry. They're also jammy. I Blue, love it. Blueberry. Take blueberries, zest some orange on there. That That's just this note. sounds like a dessert getting fancy. Yeah. This is the first time I think I've gotten like uh, chocolate, oh. like cocoa in the, the nose it's, where everything else is kind of a little proofy. It's so good. That one drinks warm too. That one feels the flattest in like the mid palate. But I'm going to go back for another drink, but yeah. it felt like a lot of the flavors coming through in the finish, yeah, not yeah. the beginning. Um, but now that being said, I definitely get some chocolate in there. Oh, no. Okay. If you do the drowning pheasant, there's a ton of flavor right in the middle of the palate. Okay. Nailed it. Greatest tasting method of all time, by the way. Oh my gosh. If you drink water after you drink that, it's amazing. Now drink water. It's like a a burnt caramel. Not, it's not, not chocolate. It's sweeter than that. I'm going to say, I'm going to get very specific here. It's like a semi-burnt caramel, a little bit of sea salt oh, in there. every time you drink it gets better. 
All of them are this good. This is gonna be an issue. I might have a last place. I don't have any other placings right now. Uh, I think I do too. So we're gonna take a quick break, kind of talk a little yeah. bit, and then we'll come back D-Day. I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Are you good? Yeah. All right. We're back. We're, after a f- little break, we're going to go small break. left to small, right now. Small science lesson for Dan. Yeah, I learned about things in science and heat and breaking bonds, making very low temperatures, which is why the environment fluctuates from season to season. We didn't talk about any of that. <laughs> this smells, mm. this, does this smell a little lighter, like flatter on the nose? More, maybe, I don't think it, it maybe it's delicate. I'm not sure. Oh, we didn't talk about this. Do you have any idea what any of these are? Nope. Not okay. yet. I don't have a, a single s- fucking guess. Not a single guess. Um, These good. It feels well put together, but very light all the way through. I, I like think it. if you didn't have these in front of it, I don't think it would be that light. Well, we're coming back through now. I know. But I mean, like... Very good. We just tasted three other heavy finished yeah. whiskeys. Like rich, very oily, heavy. And then D doesn't seem to have those same attributes. She smells hot. I was going to say, I think it might be proof, but there's like a, a flash up front that is semi-off-putting for me. The f- I'm okay. going to get very, very nitpicky because these are all very, yeah. very good. The flash up front, I 1,000% equate to the finish of the whiskey, not okay. the whiskey itself. Okay. It has to be... Like the other barrel, whatever the hell it is, yeah. it has to be There's the other There's something that sits on the front of my yeah. tongue, and yep. it's just like, bam, yep. hot. And it's immediately there, and it sticks out. Like, mm-hmm. it's an immediate, very, I don't, bright's not, it's bright. It is. It, like, it's a spiky note. Yeah. Um. It's a, I like the note. It just is like, what's up? I'm here to part. It's like the Kool-Aid <laughs> man. Yeah. Like, that's what it is, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um. <laughs> and be. I don't dislike it. I want to taste it one more time. Oh, goodness. I, wow. The man, I like C a lot. The anyway. finish on B, coming off of like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how strong the, it stood out going from A, but coming into C, the I, finish on B is like, wow, it's bright. I'm completely convinced that these with water would be amazing. Oh, this is the toast one, dude. Yes, this is like you went to a mom and pop diner wherever you live, and they said, "What toast would you like with your omelet?" And then you said, "I like a nice Texas toast. Please bring the jam." And then they brought jam. They made the Texas toast perfectly. They yeah. buttered it, and they just put a mountain of raspberry jelly or jam on it. So it's perfect. That whiskey That's is so, so good. good. B is so tasty. A little brownie batter in the finish. A B. I oh, I don't know how you get no cinnamon I out of that. I swear to God, no. I, I'm, I said I, I said that maybe I would eventually in my lifetime okay. agree with cinnamon, but I would never agree with nuttiness. Okay. I think it's like the. I think I said it's very oily. And that's when I said specifically grapeseed oil. Like it's very very oily on the the nose. Oh, what is grapeseed oil? So. It's we got oil. This kit. It's oil from grapeseed, basically. From the seeds of a grape. Yeah. There's so oil it's a, in there. It's a higher, um, like, burning oil. So you use that a lot with... We use it a lot in our cast irons. Okay. So it doesn't smoke as much. It's like vegetable oil. Mm. There's like a higher flash right. point on it. Okay. So when you cook, and you can sear off on high temperature, mm. and you don't get it to burn. I, a is literally... I wanted to say angel tears, but I can't say angel tears because that would be sad. Mm. A is an angel... It just is. I swear, there's no other words. Notes don't matter. A is one of the greatest whiskeys. They matter whiskeys. a little bit when you say that bullshit. A is, a is the greatest finished whiskey, one of them, of all time. That was, okay, all right. now we're really back. It was not recorded. Um, anyway, We went through A and B to have our winners, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, we do. You got um, I have my order. You have okay. your order. Yeah, I'm I have going to have to, visual I'm representation. Move, yep, I'm going to move my stuff. And then let's go Throw through our me. orders. Okay, do you want to make any guesses? My guess at this point is C is Magnus Cigar Blend, but my guess is based off... Now my guess is based off my previous interactions with Joseph Magnus products, but... My notes. But how I got there was through you saying yeah. something about it, so that's my only guess. I don't really? have a single other guess. Honestly. Okay, I will be way wrong on this, but I want to 
I want to try. I think C is Magnus. D is Forgate. A is Angels. And then B is Chateau the Scooby-Doo. I think that's fair. Last place for you, good sir. Last place for both of us. C. See you guys later. All right. <laughs> Apparently, Sean was extremely incorrect. Last place for both of us, C. Angels and me. Really? Yeah. Heaviest cast finish. Yep. Well, third for you. D. Third for me is D as well. Forty eight. Oh, I was right. We are down to a couple, a one, a two, a hitter, sir. I was right, though. So a third place. <laughs> okay, so I put B first. Okay, you put I put A B first. second. And yeah, so we just swapped A and B. So so A is Joseph Magnus. Okay. Which you put first. Wow. And then B is Bardstown, which I put first. Wow. So I had switched the Angels and the Joseph. We both put Angels last. Yeah. Wow. Um. Interesting. Honestly, the only two that were close for me were A and B. If I'm being honest. I agree. Okay. All I'll preface this. All four of them are. All four are great. There's no way I sit down at a bar, have any of these, and be disappointed. We should have gone over this at the beginning, but we didn't. And I'm while we wrap it up, I'll do this real quick. Bartstown, the Bard Sounds 160. Yep. Joseph Magnus, depending on where you are, 160, 175. These are retail ish yeah. prices. Um, this is a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. Bills. And this two one bills. is a two hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. So this one is actually by far the easiest to find. Yeah. Because you can, you can buy it online yeah. and, and for retail. Um, a lot of these seem to sit in stores for two twenty ish. Alright, so, we're the bourbon junkies. We are. Like, comment, subscribe, help us out a ton. Yeah. Check out Patreon. Yeah. Um, this video will be out on Thursday. Bourbonjunk.com. We got a shit ton of stuff up there. Check out bourbonjunk.com. There are slides, aka some people, some boomers call them flip flops. Yeah. Um, and I then like what they are. Uh, coasters are up there. Oh yeah. Throw me one of those. I think that's it right now. Uh, the the Patreon mugs are sold out. Yeah. Aka. They're nice. BJ coasters. Got a little, little, little slate action. Yeah. Little, little so needless to say, well, thanks for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for the support. I love you guys. The proof is in the finished whiskeys. Oh, yeah. Specifically, MGP. Expensive. Expensive. Oh, I wish that we still had that Redwood pick.